Hey there everybody, it's Dan Devon from the WJON Newsroom with another edition of our Behind the Scenes series here with you today and it's another part of life that people might take for granted. Where does the water go when the toilet flushes or when it goes down your sink? Well, today we're going to take a behind the scenes look at the wastewater treatment plant and see how the water goes from that to Mississippi water. So we'll go check it out. The St. Cloud Wastewater Treatment Facility was put into service back in 1976. Pretty much anything that goes down the sink or toilet in the area ends up here. Ten and a half million gallons typically goes through the facility every single day from around central Minnesota. Collection system out there under the streets, we have uh, hundreds of miles of pipes um, filling up with, uh, with sewage or, or used water. Mm -hmm. And um, so after pretty much anything that goes down the sink or down the toilet or um, after industrial use or whatever. After the water gets dirty again, it comes through this, the sanitary sewer system. Uh, it all ends up right here. Once the water reaches the area, it goes through several steps before it's put back into the Mississippi River. The process starts with large solids being separated out of the water. A large filtering screen separates any solids that end up in the system. The second step involves using microorganisms like bacteria that eat and use the waste as an energy source. Oxygen is pumped into these tanks to help the bacteria thrive. We do a lot of uh, controlling and watching of our bacteria populations, trying to get the right types of bacteria to grow, things like that, the ones that are most beneficial to us, and try to avoid the bad bacteria, all those kind of things. After the first two steps, the water has one more to go through the final clarification phase. During this step, the water is disinfected using an ultraviolet light and is then transported off to the Mississippi River. While the water is pumped into the river, solid waste is taken to a separate building where it can be gathered and placed on land as a fertilizer. Removing all that solids material and sending it to the other side of the, of the facility where we'll, we'll treat all those solids further before they end up going on egg fields eventually. At the start and end of the process, the water quality is being monitored to be sure that it's clean and matching standards. Every hour samples are taken and tested. A complete laboratory is also on site where samples can be closely observed, showing there's a lot of scientific work that goes into this facility behind the scenes to recycle the wastewater of central Minnesota. Reporting from St. Cloud, Dan DeBond, WJON News.